So today on Faces and Places, we're here at the Meals on Wheels San Pedro Kitchen, where it's not just about the meals. It's also about helping our homebound neighbors remain connected. Let's go take a look. So I'm here with Susan and Michael, and I'd like to start off with telling people who you are and, and why you're part of Meals on Wheels. Susan McKenna, I'm the board president now and part-time chef, but I've been involved with Meals on Wheels a long, long time, doing all sorts of things. And my, I think we could say the same thing for Mike Cacavella. I'm just your sidekick, so. <laughs> no, Mike, Mike is the heart of our organization. He was longtime chef here, and now he's our indispensable office manager and only employee, our part-time employee. So tell me about the mission and uh, of Meals on Wheels and why it's so important for you to do what you do. What we do at San Pedro Meals on Wheels is to feed our homebound neighbors in the Harbour community. You're called Meals on Wheels San Pedro, but you also serve people in Rancho Palos Verdes, Wilmington, and San Pedro. Just our neighborhoods, really, our Harborside neighborhoods, and we just go up the hill. The hill. Well, so we've gone all the way to the top of the hill in yeah. Rancho Palos Verdes. But San Pedro Meals on Wheels has been one of the longest, we're one of the historical independent Meals on Wheels in the US, and particularly in LA. And we started here with a group of women that lived in Palos Verdes and San Pedro in this church, in the kitchen we still use now, in 1962. So we've been doing this for a long, long time. So from what I understand, when we were talking earlier, you're serving over a hundred different individuals, usually around 80 people a day. Yes. And for most of these folks, this is only human interaction they get in that day. Our people are homebound. They can't leave the house. They can't buy food. They can't access all those services that are out there. We are the only people they see and they could be, Mike knows, what is it, we have about 14 volunteers a day driving and delivering. Well, yeah, we do seven routes and usually two per route, a runner and a driver. And the runner is actually the person that sees the Does client the interaction, and yeah. And yeah. does the interaction. You know, we have clients that can't come to the door, so they just leave the cooler because they don't want us waiting that long. We also have clients where we have their permission to knock and enter, announce Meals on Wheels. One of the ways that people can contribute is through your monthly meal maker, right? Where they're contributing $20, $25. It's automatic. You, it, it just comes out of a, yeah. a credit card or a debit yes. card or whatever every month. Yeah. And it may seem like a trivial amount but for an organization that runs as lean as you do. We are frugal. <laughs> yes, this could mean the difference between some folks eating and not eating, right? And, and it could make the difference between, you know, at the end of the month, yes. not having enough resources, and this could make a difference in your operation. It's already making a difference, mm -hmm. and our goal would be, and it's a fairly modest goal, if we could get 150 people who live in our the harbor, harbor area, the harbor oh. area, you know, like we used to say, it's a couple of cups of coffee. Yeah. And you know, yeah. it's it's a very small amount, but it's it can make a huge difference. If people wanted to find out more ways of contributing, either volunteering or donating, where do they go? The website's the place where people can see how they can help, you know, donate, they can sign up as a volunteer. I want to thank you again for what you mean to the community, for the role that you fill in this space, and then also for what you mean to those individual folks that are waiting for these meals and the role that you fill in their lives. Thank you for sitting down with me today. I really enjoyed this. I hope you did too. So, thank you thank for you. visiting <laughs> us. It's been a treat. Thank you for having us. Thanks for watching. 
Before you watch the next video, please remember to like, subscribe, comment below, or share. Thanks again for watching.